gibberishes, rich bitches, get dick delicious. This shit's something you don't want to dismiss. Toss it like a discus in the distance. Hey. This consistence is something that I persist with. I insist this bitch sit down about table. Tell them what I gotta do with my Round one didn't quite go very well, but I recouped. I went back to the drawing board, back to the pandelaire, and uh, I'm gonna get it this time. Oh yeah. Fig rig, eat your fucking heart. If you ever heard of Manfrotto, they're the company that holds the monopoly on monopods, and uh, they have something called the fig rig. Yeah, it's fucking dope. But, but, it's like $10 million, 10 million. Hold $10 million for it. Uh, nah, maybe it's like a thousand, something like that. Anyways, uh, way too much. <laughs> I just got done buying a couple new lenses and a gimbal. So, uh, I don't need more money. <laughs> My Jeep needs tires, and uh, if I don't have tires, I can't even get to shoots. So, I said, how am I gonna get a stabilizer like the fucking Fig Rig? Pardon my French, I'm sorry, I really shouldn't cuss. Um, but, uh, I said I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it, right? So I made, I made one, right? This is what I made. And, uh, I followed some, some things, some, some DIY, some DIY things. Um, and, uh, moral of the story, it's trash. It's trash. It wasn't strong enough, I didn't think it through, and, uh, I measured once. And now I'm gonna have to cut twice, right? But everybody knows you measure twice, you cut once. So that's what I'm gonna do this time. It's going down. Let's get a rundown. I got some PVC here. I couldn't really tell you the thickness or the strength, uh, but I got it. And it's a lot stronger and a lot thicker than the last. We got some of these elbow pieces here. I'll give you guys the count in the end, okay? I got some of this locker, okay? And that's gonna be for the um, for the screw that ends up holding everything. Now, I got spray paint. When you get spray paint, right? You see that word right there? Plastic. If it doesn't say the word, it adheres to plastic on it. It doesn't, okay? Now, there's another type of dry cement that you can use that works fine. It's what I used on the other one. But it's messy as hell, and it, like, dries your skin. It's not very comfortable. Okay, got a cap that's gonna go over the middle piece and we're gonna put a screw up right through the middle there and that's where the gimbal is gonna sit. Now, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to, this is my current stabilizer that has been deconstructed and I'm gonna try to take these handles off and put these handles on the side and see if I cannot make that work and so it would be adjustable on different accesses. And Manfrotto doesn't do that. So let's get started. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna assemble it without gluing it, right? And make sure everything's right and everything's even. After that, I'm going to take it apart one section at a time. But as I take that section apart, I'm gonna immediately put it back So, as I was saying before, you know, I, I've purchased a lot of equipment, you know, um, I've been booking a lot more gigs, um, my quality, my learning curve is starting to really get to the point where I want it, um, and I'm really seeing the, the value of investing, and I really want to tell you guys that, is I tried to cut every corner in the book, right, because uh, I'm cheap, right, so if there was a cheap way to do it, I tried it, and uh, I ended up spending twice as much money in the process, whereas if I would have just saved the and spent the extra money on the quality that I ended up spending anyways, uh, I would have saved money. And I might have been able to buy the Manfrotto, but I don't think I'm gonna want the Manfrotto because the Panda Stabilizer 1.0, it's gonna be the bomb. So, this is gonna be the middle, and like I said, I'm gonna put it all together first, and then I'm gonna reconstruct. Drippin', drippin' like a ball strip, drippin', drippin', drippin' in the sauce, I'm drippin', drippin', tri drippin' like a ball strip, drippin', drippin', drippin' in the sauce, I'm drippin'. Oh no, I'm short one. 
Like a glove. Well, I don't know. But, so, like I said, I'm not going to hammer it in, but this is it. This is what it's going to be like, right? It's a little bigger than the Manfrotto, but huh, I'm a little bigger of a guy. <laughs> I'm going to see how it is. You know, once I hammer it in, it will all be perfectly easy. And uh, everything will be fine and dandy. So let's glue it all together. Ooh. Wardrobe change. Sorry. I got home from work. Now, I should finish, because the glue is dry, and it's awesome. You know, it's the big rig, it's the big rig. And I screwed that top in there. Um, I used the same glue, it's kind of an all-purpose glue, but I also got a, it's like thread lock, and so it goes in here and I'll make sure that that doesn't move around. Because once this is on, reinforcement. You know, if you're going to do this, make sure you do it before you paint. I want to take this time to remind you that the Manfrotto costs north of $1,000, and I ended up spending less than 100 on both of these. Think outside the box. The measurements are awkward on this just because it's off. So, we'll take it from there. And we'll see what we're looking at. Oh yeah. That's that good. Time to get the drill. Oh. It worked. <laughs> it's crazy. So, of course, I'll level these out. <clears throat> Drilled the entry and exit holes um, at different levels. So, it would put tension, which would hold them in there. One. Two. We got this, this thick double-sided grill tape, right? It's going to be used in there in those holes, as well as that glue. Um, on both sides and then quick let that glue dry and we'll go paint her and we'll test her. Dude, I fucking did it. Wait, wait, wait. Fuck that. We're doing this in 4K. Ooh, I kind of feel like a dick. Did you think right now? Mm-mm, no. See, that's the end of part one. Um, if you want to see the final product, the final slick painted product, and even more important, the testing to see if the Panda really holds up or really compares to the Manfrotto or if I just wasted all this time and energy, stay tuned. Like, subscribe, comment. You can always check our services out. KaiPhoenix.com. See you next time.